we're going to do um, the required hair for um, BBC Competitive Dance this year. It is two braids to a high pony. Before we ever get started on hair, I want to show you these things. Um, this you can get from Amazon, Shein, Timu, basically anywhere. It's a wax stick for flyaways. This is super helpful. The other thing I want to show you are these comb sets. You can get like a million combs um, on Shein or Timu for like a dollar. This whole thing was two dollars for the wax stick and all these combs. And in here, um, the one that I got, there is this edging comb that has this side and this side. There's this um, teasing comb if you need it, but it also has this in to part with. And then there's this comb that I use this side to part with, and then I'll use this side when I fix her hair. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys before I get started. These are really helpful to have and super cheap. Okay. So two braids to high pony. The first thing that we're gonna do are the two braids. These are Dutch braids, meaning that they go out away from center. So French braid goes in the center, Dutch braid goes away from the center. So parting is very important because we need to all look the same. Everything that we do when we're telling you to do it a certain way is to make sure everyone looks uniform so that it doesn't affect our scoring. So I'm going to part her hair right down the middle first. Okay, she has a lot of baby hairs. Who's got here? Go take the shirt. She has a lot of baby hairs. So um, right at the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and um, get some wax on those baby hairs to get them to split to their right side. Alright, so another important thing, after you get the middle part, you want to make sure that the section that you get comes from the temple. We do not want to pull your whole ear like this, turn to the side. This is a no. We don't want it to come from your ear. Instead, we want it to come from the temple and have hair down to pull up into the ponytail like this. So this is the kind of part that we want. So I'll take my comb and make it very straight. Turn it this way. Okay. So do you see how straight that part is? And it's coming from the temple so that this hair will come back and cover the pony. So from the temple, and then we will pull back straight into that middle part. On this side, the key to these braids is to start really close to the front and take really tiny pieces. So I'm gonna start way up here in these little baby hairs, tiny, tiny sections to start the braid. I'm going to start working away from the center and picking up tiny sections as I go. Okay, I'm gonna take just a clear elastic so that it's not seen. Make sure you don't have a colored elastic or even a black one, make sure it's clear so everyone matches. And I'm gonna elastic that braid off right here at the scalp. This is another important step to make sure everyone stays uniform. You do not want to let the braid go through here and the braid sit in your ponytail. We cannot do that because everyone has to be the same. So you will cut the elastic right here at the scalp. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side now. From the temple. Okay, I'm going to do the same exact thing on this side, just taking little tiny sections. 
writing away from the center. Okay, so again, I'm going to take a clear elastic, put it right at the scalp. Okay, so now we have our two braids part done. Um, now we're going to do the ponytail part. Can you put your head way down so I can show them? Okay, so this line that goes across, that is where your ponytail should be, right up here where your braids stop. We don't want this line showing, so your ponytail can't be right here, right here. It has to be right up here on this line. So that's where I'm gonna place her ponytail. I'm actually even going to keep these ponies out for right now so I can focus on getting this ponytail very high. There you go. All right, so I'm just going to start at the base brushing. I'm going to keep brushing it up until I get the height that I need. Once I get that pulled all the way up, I'll go ahead and add in my little ponies. Okay, so her ponytail is right up here at the base of the braids. Having these temple sections also helps to hide the parts from the braids. If you look, look completely to the side, you honestly can't see any of that part. You can see a little bit right here, but we'll fix that. You can't see any part from the braid whatsoever. It's just seamless. So that's the reason we leave those temple hairs down until we put them up. Okay, so I'm going to put two black I'm going to put two black um, ponytails in her hair. Um, two just to keep extra security and it adds a little bit of height to her ponytail also. Super tight, isn't it, Ava? <laughs> okay, so we can start waxing. See, she's got like little flyaways. So we can start waxing those in. I'm just going to like lightly run the wax through and then I'll go back over it. Now that I have that all waxed and smoothed, I'm going to spray the whole thing. <laughs> Use whatever spray you like. Cuff before I style the ponytail itself. Makes it easier that way for me. This is how I install the cuff. I just leave it unwrapped like you see here. 
put the pony on. Some people do it differently. Some people turn it inside out. Um, this is what I do though. So once it's in, then I just wrap it. And it's got Velcro to keep it. All right, so there's with the cuff in. Okay, so just a little. All right, so now I'm going to curl this ponytail. So if your hair is straight, you will need to curl it. If your hair is already curly, you can wear whatever curl you would like to wear. Um, like if your hair Brixley um, catcher, for example, Miss Whitney Jordan's daughter, she has beautiful curly hair. So she probably won't have to curl hers with a curling iron because she's got beautiful spirals anyway. Um, but if your kiddo has straight hair, like mine do, you're gonna need to curl it. Um, I use a tiny iron and I make tiny curls, but that is just because I know my kids have really thin, really flat hair. And so if I make a tiny curl, by the time it gets to competition, it'll be a normal size curl because it'll fall out. So I'm taking tiny sections, the tiny curling iron to curl their ponies. So we got her whole hair curled, turn around. We curled the whole pony, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it while it's in all the ringlets. Okay, so on a competition day, I would just let the ringlets sit until they start falling and then kinda comb them out. This little hair doesn't want to go back. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, um, I'm just going to kind of mess with this ponytail till it looks right to me. Um, like I said, I do want to keep the ringlets in to let them sit, but this is basically what the hair should look like. Okay, so this is dance hair and dance makeup. So if you're in marble cheer, this is also what you should look like, except instead of a pony cuff, you'll have a bow to wear. Like I said, my girls have thin hair, so I'm gonna tease up this pony just a little. Okay, and we are all done. This is your 2024 Kryptonite Competitive Dance Hair. Do a spin. Dance hair and makeup. One, two, three. DDC. <laughs>